What's going on viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 back for some more Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. So last time we took care of the optional third world, Sherbet Land. This time we're gonna be moving on to what the game considers World 4. This is Stove Canyon. There's actually gonna be a treasure to this stage, but whatever you do, keep moving right immediately. Because there's gonna be a wall of instant death lava coming from the left. See, there it is. Okay. So, I took the liberty of collecting some more coins off camera. It's a good thing that this is a physical copy. Okay. So, the key is actually going to be hidden right here. This is where the key's at. But you got to be quick. Okay. Grab this. So... There's actually going to be a part coming up where I would highly recommend uh, just taking damage. Because it's going to be getting through this next part a little bit easier. Okay. Not the type of invisible blocks. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to take damage. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to tank the hit on purpose. Sure, don't touch that guy's spike. Because warrior is small. I can just walk through. This is what I was talking about. Come on. Because the treasure room will be in here, but the game is at least nice enough to give you a garlic pot to open the door. Open the chest, I mean. Right here, see? I mean, you could just do this to get past that uh, narrow row of blocks, but it's easier just to be small. Let's see. Uh, it's really hard to do that glitch in Wario's normal form, just because his body slam is so short. And I always pull it off, but my problem is I keep holding the A button for too long. Keep doing this, but it should be doing this. There we go. I'm <clears throat> just not thinking about it in the moment. Oh, and because uh, you cannot backtrack, as you might expect, we don't have to unlock the gold door. It's unlocked automatically. Not what I want to do. You know what? Who gives a crap? The gold's right here. I'm in his normal form regardless. As you might expect, I was trying to do the so yeah, I took the liberty of grinding some coins. I totally did that legit, no need to accuse me of nothing. Okay, fine, use a debug code. I'll tell you about it a little bit later. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm probably not gonna bring it up until the end of the game. Alright, so, I believe some of these bridges... Ugh. Some of these bridges will start falling. And I'm just trying to remember when that... Yeah, see, there they are, falling bridges. Dragon Pot, okay, I guess I'll take that, sure. I said before that if I had to choose between the dragon and jet forms, I take dragon. Okay, now be careful here, because okay, these platforms are actually going to fall into the lava. You're going to go all the way in, and if you're not careful, you're going to die. You know, I think some of these bridges will fall. Let's see, you think I know this game a little bit better than I do? So checkpoints in here. Going to go ahead and take that. Just because you never know what something stupid is going to happen. So if you have the Dragon Form, you can bust these blocks open. <clears throat> Let's see. I believe the reason that not many people like the Dragon Form too much is because you can't get coins from it. Okay. That was close. Again, it's just a matter of getting used to playing with a Game Boy Advance as opposed to a 3DS. Yeah, that's what I was- that's actually why I was hesitating back there. There's a stupid invisible blocks. Multi bit, there's another one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the second platform on screen. Just to ensure that I don't have to worry about screwing this up. So this world, in my opinion, is where things get pretty difficult going forward just because there's a lot there's a lot of lava you have hazards like that that little fireball <clears throat> and there we go we're going to be seeing a lot more hazards over the course of stove canyon sorry keep hiccup because just had lunch had a journey pizza it was pretty good it just seems to be a recurring trend i'm always recording right after i ate lunch Alright, let's go ahead and move on to course number 22. 
Okay, so be careful here. Hold on. Yeah, because there are fireballs. So this was actually the stage that was shown in the demonstration at the beginning. I didn't even remember this game having a demonstration. I thought it was only Mario Land 1 and 2. So all the Mario Land games have a demonstration. So in there is a bull pot. I'm not going to take it yet. Just in case something stupid happens. Alright, I'm playing this cautiously here. Because I don't remember where exactly the fireballs are at. Not what I wanted to do. No, you don't, sir. So these platforms are actually going to fall. But since I have the bull form, I could just do this. Let's see here. Heart! Nice. <clears throat> okay, I believe the checkpoint is in here. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. If you're good enough, yeah, you can do a fancy trick like that. Let's see, I got myself an extra life. Ugh. I have 35 lives now. Okay, now tread carefully. Yep, more fireballs. Another DD. Let's see. There we go, got him. Okay. Now, I think there's an invisible block here. Yes, right there. And guess what? These platforms fall. Let's see, there we go. Gee, you know, for being an official Mario product, there are so many invisible blocks. Wouldn't expect that from game developers. I mean, game developers for Nintendo. Careful here. Let's see, that is the jet form. You can grab those coins if you have the jet form, but I'm not going to play a game of risk. I thought I was going to touch that fireball. That was close. The range of being able to grab the ladders is a little deceptive, I believe. <clears throat> Let me see here. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking out for, little punk. Ah, come on. I should have been holding a 10 gold coin. And you know what? Yeah, this is the end of the level. So I'm back to his normal form. Come on. There we go, see? <clears throat> Alright, with 30 coins added to the bank, almost up to 4,000. So this stage is, this is the only level in Sub Canyon to have two exits, course number 23. Now, the secret exit's actually pretty tough to get, got the bull form back anyway. The secret exit's pretty tough to get, just because uh, trying to do the charge attack off those platforms is a little wonky. Oh yeah, look at that. You can actually see that the wheel sprite is not created. Not created fully. Watch. See? You can actually see that, right? Like, it's not the full wheel. The very bottom of it is missing. Also, those wheels look like buttons, and now you can't unsee it. You're welcome. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop. Not. I guess it doesn't matter, because it's going to be hard to backtrack anyway. Like, I'm probably going to end up taking the checkpoint, which is up here. So that block bounces you up high. We have to bounce off one of those blocks to reach the secret exit. Let's see here. Take the checkpoint. A high jump actually lets you move faster. So yeah. The jet form that allows you to do the high jump without holding up. But you won't get the increased speed like so. See, it doesn't help that these guys are all, always in the way. I'm not going to grab that yet. Yep. For that exact reason. Exact reason number two. Is it going to be a number three? No, I guess not. Okay. So the secret exit is coming up, I think. Or no, I'm not there yet. I'm probably going to end up dying at least once trying to reach it. Again, it's easiest with the jet form, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, it's right here. Check this out. Yeah! I almost touched the lava. Luckily, I somehow didn't. Wow, I cannot believe I got that in one try. That's incredible. Alright, very nice. Now, that is the fastest that Wario will travel those poles. Okay, so here's the secret exit for Stoke Canyon. Seriously? It's, it's that short? I'm not even 10 minutes to the video, and I'm already on the second to last course. Okay, that's a twofer. Hey look, there's a treasure in this stage too. 
Okay, I'm gonna save that. Let me see, so... This is otherwise a really short stage if you're not going for the treasure. Because I believe the goal is actually through this door. Let's see... Here is this DD. Yep, there's the goal right there. Only trouble is, you need at least 10 coins to open the door, so... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and explore this course, shall we? Okay, so it might not be a bad idea to get rid of some of these guys first. There's more where that came from, trust me. <clears throat> so in order to get the treasure of this course... Come on. Okay, not what I wanted, but I'll take it. In order to get the treasure of this course, we have to hit a bunch of switches. See, these switches will raise and lower the water levels of... ...of these rooms. There's a heart... Well, uh, there's the key! <clears throat> well, am I seriously able to get the treasure just like that? I don't remember it being that simple. Okay. I'm really gonna be able to get the treasure just like that, wow. Alright, let's go ahead and toss the key in the block. Let's see if I can do the glitch. There we go! That's how you're supposed to do the glitch with the bull form. I finally managed to get that right. Oh, a trophy, huh? What award did Wario win? Most greedy? I can see him winning that award. But, I guess I could explore the rest of this level, sure. Not that it's really anything that special. But if you want to reap all the rewards, you have to hit the switches. Go ahead and give it a view. There's a heart in there. Come on. Oh, look at this. A giant coin. That's the giant coin, that's what I was talking about. Jet form, not that I care. I have to hit the switch to get out. You see, it does not take a lot of warrior sprite to be kicked out of the water. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Alright, that is where to go to get the giant coin. Nice. As to what's up here, I don't believe is anything special. So I can actually just go ahead and clear the stage, I guess, sure. Because if you want to get all the rewards, then this is a bit of a mate. I wouldn't recommend doing the high jump if you have the bull form. Let's see here. Nice throw! <clears throat> okay, nice. So I cleared that stage. I have to get the normal exit for... Uh... The last course. So you, because you've already seen the whole stage, I might actually just cut it out instead of speeding it up. Uh, I'll think about it. Let me see here. Okay, so I made it to the end of the level. When I got the checkpoint, I actually failed miserably. <laughs> so. I had to do it again. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I, I might actually leave that part in. I don't know. I'll think about all this in editing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a move on, shall we? We're already at the boss, and I'm only 15 minutes in. Wow. Stove Canyon's boss is in course number 25. Let's see here. Okay. There's a garlic pot. Gotta watch the uh, fireballs, because you don't know where they're going to pop up. If for the looks of things, is that for the looks of things, it's every other uh, every other gap. All right, so trade carefully here. Just hold right, and you will be able to make these. See, I think this is the one that's pretty tough to get. There we go. I got it on one try. So don't be surprised if you end up failing to one of these. Let's see, who needs to drop down their hard way when I got the bull form and I could cheese it? Okay, the checkpoint is in this room. And I'm definitely gonna take it. Because 
Ugh, this boss. I have never been a fan of this boss. I think he can be pretty tough to defeat, even without the uh, RNG that's in his favor, you know? Well, maybe not you know. You'll find out what I mean soon enough. Ugh! Yeah, it's all too easy to fall for that when you're in such a rush. I'm pulling out the 10 gold coin because... Uh, these, there's going to be a pirate goom, I think, or that's my imagination. Normally, you'd have to uh, hop up these to wait for that guy. Okay, no, I was correct. It's this one. There we go, see? Ten gold coin eliminates the need to... Play a game of Risk. Speaking of playing a game of Risk... There we go. If you Because if you do the body slam while standing on the thing... You'll actually still be going down. Okay, here's the boss. This guy. See, he's going to throw uh, rocks from his nose, but he also has a pointy tongue. Yeah, that could break parts of the floor. And this is what I'm talking about by uh, RNG. There we go. Catch the rocks, throw it in his face. I believe as long as you don't touch his tongue or the rocks that are on fire, you'll be fine. See, if you want to do this on one chart, you're going to need a little bit of luck. Because the ball really is in his court. Okay, yeah, see? Okay, I don't know how that didn't kill, uh, damage me. Yeah, that's the other problem. Because the rocks would go inside the water. Uh, the lava, Joseph, the lava. Okay, come on. Wow! I did that in one try! Okay, whatever. It's fine. As long as you beat the boss, you don't have to worry about dying. Just try to get as many coins as you can. There we go. Stove Cannon is done. Wow, not even 20 minutes in. That went a lot faster than I thought it would. That was gonna take me half an hour. Ugh, well if this didn't take me half an hour, then the next world definitely will. Okay, so Stove Canyon is done. Next time on Wario Land Super Mario Land 3, we are going to move on to the SS Teacup. See you then.